Cure your prosperity for the coming year. Eat goose. <laughs> the Juniata River Valley has been celebrating Goose Day for generations. What is Goose Day, you ask? Well, the Juniata Valley Visitors Bureau is sponsoring this segment to provide the answer. We welcome Jenny Landis and Jenna Stoner. Of course, let's address the elephant or the rather the, the, go the goose in the room. Who's this? This is Mrs. Goose. And what is her significance? She, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't want to call her a mascot, but Mrs. Goose shows up somewhere every single Goose Day. Very good. This year, um, and actually for the last couple of years, we've been using her as a pop culture photo opportunity. Uh -huh. This year, she's Goose Lightning with the 50s <laughs> theme and the Frenchy hair, which this pink hair is just... Psh, it's on lovely. a goose. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's, it's lovely. lovely. But you see here on this photo, last year it was Top Goose, yeah. and we used the Top Gun movie theme, and now we even know what next year's going to be. So you can come, and it's, it's just a fun thing to do. What, but what is Goose Day? Like, how did this become a thing? <laughs> oh, well, Goose Day is actually spun off of a very ancient um, holiday called St. Michaelmas Day. They actually, they celebrate it in the Catholic Church and it still is uh, a day off, I believe, in Europe. But over here, of course, and anything that lasts too long gets morphed into a lot of things. <laughs> uh, so our story is that uh, it is Goose Day because we had a tenant farmer back in the 1700s show up to settle his debts uh, with his landlord and he came with a goose and he said it's tradition, we must share this goose together to secure our prosperity for the coming year. Well, could have just stopped there with a thank you for the goose, but it's evolved into all of this. And, and, and the Visitors Bureau, this is really your thing. How involved are you? Uh, we're, we're, we're very involved, but we're involved as cheerleaders. Uh, we've gone out in the last 10 years and uh, we cheerlead the, ho the local holiday. We make sure our locals understand that it is authentic. It is ours as ours to hold on to and ours to turn into something. But we also encourage all the businesses and churches and organizations to do something. They come up with something, anything. And then our role as cheerleader is to promote this. And this year we are pushing it out even farther than we have in the past. Well, you say every, all these places come up with something. What are some of the some things? Like, how do people participate? Uh, Jenna. Yeah, so uh, we have a lot of events that happen as well as the, the specific thing is Eat Goose on Goose Day, which is September 29th. So we have 14 area businesses in both Mifflin and Juniata counties that are serving goose as well as we have some specialty things that are happening like Goose Poutine is a new one for this year. Oh, wow. So <laughs> restaurants yeah. definitely get fun with it and uh, you know kind of spruce it up uh, to make it own unique for their business. So and we have a lot of other uh, distilleries and wineries that also have events have specialty wines and uh, vodka that are blackberry flavored, which is another part of the lore. Um, so it's really fun and each business takes a unique approach to it. Now I want to get this in before we run out of time. There's a really special event that's happening. You're hosting it on the 29th. Mm -hmm. What is this? This looks fascinating. Uh, we, we're taking the opportunity, we call this the Golden Goose year because Goose Day falls on a Friday. Uh, when, when you follow a date, you have to follow it to the day. So the 29th of September is on a Friday this year. And uh, we thought we'd do something special to bring people in. And we're hosting a drone light show wow. over the skies of downtown Lewistown on the night of the 29th. How do people participate in that? Do they, do they just show up? Do you need tickets or? No, no tickets. It's uh, going to be 400 feet in the air. You're going to be able to see it from a lot of different places. Uh, we're encouraging people, though, to come right downtown. We have an event going on. Our merchants are organizing uh, downtown Lewistown called Lucky Friday. So you can come down, eat your goose, mm -hmm. check out some vendors and music and things like that, and then stick around. Our drone show starts at 930. 30. Okay. Yeah. And again, this is the 29th. It's always the 29th. Always the 29th. And you can go on the Visitor Center's website for more information and kind of just kind of a rundown of everything that's happening. Thank you so much. Good to have you. you. Nice thank to see you, you again. More Good Day PA is coming up as we go to break. We thank the Juniata River Valley Visitors Bureau for sponsoring the previous segment. We'll be right back.